hi guys so this was our first tutorial that we did and it was done under 45 minutes today we are going to create inner page and we will use a very basic very very basic of PHP to simplify our work so let's get started with it alright so first we will need the WAMP server or ZAMP you can download any one of it let's see this and let's check out this ZAMP these two are PHP based local servers which we can install and deploy and uh, develop files using PHP see, this is WAMP and this is ZAMP I have already installed WAMP. XAMPP offers us PHP version 5.6 to 7.2 and WAMP offers us PHP version 5.6 to 7.1.9. You can use anyone that you feel comfortable with. I am comfortable with WAMP. And here my WAMP server is running everything is working fine so coming back to our page this was our first page now first thing first that we need to see our template this was our this is our index.html right so if I want to create another page what I can do is just simply save as and I can type give it let's suppose inner or let's let's call it offers dot HTML I can save it right away and then start editing now what happens offers.html right let's go to offers.html we have the same page what we'll do we will just uh, remove let's suppose let's suppose we remove we'll add this or we will change this my offers page and let's add another link uh, copy and paste this right so a new link or call it contact us right so in our offers.html I will just refresh it we I got the link it is working as expected now if I go back to the home page see that contact us link is not there anymore that's because I have to add this here as well so let's delete the offers.html for now alrighty yes and we'll look at this part the main document starts from here and it goes all the way to here the HTML it's closing the tag here let's divide our page in three sections one is header which I will take from here to here alright then the, here comes the body part from let's 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 just do one more thing header from here to to here all right now here comes the body F 
from there to let's keep it till here all right now we have this and then comes to then starts our footer and it's it ends here uh, by the way if you don't know what it is it's called HTML comment this won't render in the browser so it's it won't be visible to users this is for you to know what you are doing you can just comment out anything you want and you can write your own comments for your uh, you can write any comment you want to remember anything alright so let's go to index and see if you're getting any notes everything is fine and if you check the source code it's here we can see only we can see it so it's, it's absolutely fine to use comments in fact it is recommended to use comments alright so let's take this header part now we are going to create partials alright in, in most cases you'll see developers having a let's create a new folder and in most case, cases you will see the folders names like includes or inc or you can do partials so I will do inc with uh, the leading underscore so that it stays on top on in the fo folders list alright here it is now I will copy the header section in fact I will cut it from here I'll create a new file and save it in includes as PHP and I will call it header.php I'm using sublime text you can use any text editor you like same I will do with the footer section I will cut the footer section from here and paste it in a new file save that file in in inc folder footer dot php alrighty now with our index dot html left for us the body section I will just save it as index dot php or choose the extension from here perfect now I can safely delete index.html now if I will refresh I'll see only the body part with no CSS nothing here because the HTML part the header part is not here which it has all the scripts in it like the bootstrap CSS um, font awesome our fonts our custom style now we have our header footer and index.php files if I refresh I see the blank page uh, with no styling the plain page with no styling at all there's no header or footer include only the body part in the index page because we do not have our head header file which has all the scripts required scripts and the footer which has all the uh, header which has required CSS and the footer which has required script tags they are not included in our index.php oh so uh, yeah index.php if we check we only get the body section see body and body and here so now what we need to do we will use a PHP tag this PHP tag let us include different PHP files in our index.php so let's check how we can do this first we need to open the PHP tag which is which starts with less than sign question mark then we type PHP space and then we'll write 
include and then we'll open and close single quotation mark then a semicolon and to close php tag we only need to type question mark and greater than sign simple as that we need to include our file and for that we need to add the directory from where we need uh, we want to get the file so underscore in inc slash header dot php uh, we are targeting the file in tutorial underscore enc header now if we save and refresh we got the header we still don't have our footer section so what we are going to do is simple copy and paste the PHP code right at the bottom and replace header with footer refresh and we got our footer as well now what this is doing actually I can simply close my header and footer files for now save as our my index file as as offers.php now instead of HTML like previous we did I will do offers.php save now if I go to offers.php I see the exact same page right let's change few things here my great offers page some amazing offers for all of you right now refreshing this page I see it changed right now I will open my header page I need to add a contact a link I'll copy paste one list item and change the link to contact us I will refresh it I got the contact us link here now let's go to the home page of our tutorial oh wow see I still have this contact us page this means I can include my header and footer or any portion any part of any web page in any web page if you see in offer.php still we are including header and our footer simple and we can change anything in our body section mm. uh, yeah. we have everything here as intact I can delete this section to or let's comment out comment it out and offers.php grid offers patch, uh, page and we do not have those packages here anymore it is it is extremely that simple now we will add some text here let's suppose we have this now we can remove this picture to remove this picture let's keep this here I will remove this picture from here the placeholder and let's go to lorem some here it is I will copy this uh, actually if you are not using an emit or anything this is why I am showing you all this otherwise with emit you can simply write some 
50 or any any required quantity you want like 550 and just press tab it will give you the dummy text so let's have mm, 30 30 uh, words or let's have 100 words all right now refresh we have this still we do not still we have a space here we can simply remove this and keep our columns 12 to make it look a bit decent let's create two paragraph tags remove the leading space refresh we got this perfect we can uncomment our packages section raw I can remove the complete draw my packages are here I can remove the packages heading this whole diff can be removed easily packages uh, now I'm getting this additional height here right to remove it let's remove padding bottom from here and if you want more if you want to reduce more you can simply remove from here as well now you got it much closer to it is uh, let's keep three in a row here is our card now we can add some more text here instead of this dark gray section I will remove all this and let's have two columns six columns each and have um, heading have a heading here let's do each three amazing amazing journey let's add a paragraph text same let's um 20 gap uh, 20 words save refresh the page we got this or we can let's go to catbootstrap.com and let's see what we have in typography list items we have plenty of things here see for the h1 this is h1 we can have headings as uh, the classes for paragraphs as h1 h2 h3 like that to h6 and we have heading classes for display display 1 display dash 2 display dash 3 and we have a heading class as lead make a paragraph stand out by adding class lead alright so what we need I need this list item right this item has this this is in line list like this it will appear and this is how it appears if we set this per, uh, this markup I'm going to copy this code instead of this I will simply paste this here save refresh go back to our page here it is now we have this list item I will remove this one for now I don't need it 
now we need to add some font awesome uh, font awesome icon let's go to font awesome cheat sheet not not cheat sheet actually this is for Photoshop or any design software you want to add font okay uh, icons and look for an icon let's use this one angle right okay here it is copy just click on it it will copy it automatically since I'm using sublime text I can simply hold control alt and press down arrow key to put my cursor in all the list tags now I will paste it give a space here save press and if I refresh my page uh oh we don't see the icons here that's because we haven't defined that the FAS class must have font family defined so for the font we'll use shorthand font size is normal font variant is normal font weight is normal size 14 and uh, 1.5 probably and font a w s o m e font awesome would be I'm not getting it. Ah, uh, hold on. Just because oh, I haven't added this now, I got the, my icons here. With the font also. Now we can increase the size of the icons if you want. Refresh. See, it's here. And we can do the weight bold here as well so we cut a list here if you want to add another one I will simply copy this six column div and add this and I will add some more text this is some more highlights let's reduce the co uh, quantity of the items this is it I want to change the background for my offers page right so see we have this in our hero section right I'm going to give it a class called hero and hero offers right this is a new class I have given to it save it and in my CSS I have this hero I will copy this paste it here I will target hero dot hero dash offers and I will paste it here once more and this is I will call hero dash home I'll tell you why I'm doing this now for my hero I am going to remove this entirely this is just simple 500 height I will remove height from hero home and hero offers properties uh, let's open our index.php add hero dash home class here nothing will change everything will be the same let's refresh my hero title my image is still here perfect and in my offers.php I still have that image go to pixels.com and search for balloons this gives 
pretty colors colorful image and from all the colorful images I'm going to choose this one all right select the size this would be enough for us or we can add custom size but I'll choose this one download I will just rename it balloon save it close it in my hero offers I will name it but give it a name of balloon.jpg refresh my image has changed and I am still getting the height from here the hero property we can increase the height if uh, if you want refresh here it goes but I'll keep it as I'll keep it the same and we got our inner page ready as well so guys please do comment and let me know what would you like me to create tutorial on we touched a very 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 basic of PHP just to include header and footer which remains same wherever we include it thank you for watching the video I hope you will like it